Hello, my furniture refinishing friends. This is Shannon with Black Sheep House. Today's video, I'm taking you along with me to hopefully upgrade my photography studio space for taking pictures of furniture. I don't know about you, but I feel like my furniture painting skills are really good and my photography skills and my background and stuff for pictures, it just could, it could be better. And so I'm really looking to upgrade that area because, you know, we live in a digital world where you post your furniture for sale on Facebook Marketplace and a good photograph really makes it circulate through the algorithm and so many more people see your piece. So I think good photography is definitely a skill that you want to learn just as much as painting furniture. So I went to Home Depot and I found these foam boards and a lot of like photographers will use these foam boards to um, reflect light. They'll like paint them white or put sheets on them and stuff and and they use them as backgrounds and stuff too I've seen. So I thought I would sort of copy that idea and I have some wallpaper so I thought if I bought these for like 20 bucks each so $40 total for my space and this is this is big these are pretty tall like you could take a picture of a china cabinet in front of these foam boards and you could also just buy one like you can see that and you can put long dressers or nightstands and things like that in front of it if you've got a smaller space and you don't want to mess with the the two boards. That would be a lot easier, actually. <laughs> this these things barely fit in my car, <laughs> but this um this particular board is very lightweight and very easy to move around. And so for that, it was easy. It was definitely like a forward leaning drive home. <laughs> okay, so you guys are gonna watch me fail a little bit here. I'm trying to figure out. You know, I have my wallpaper, I have these foam boards, I'm quite non-committal in the whole thing. I don't really, I'm like not sure I want to like actually apply the wallpaper to the foam boards and so I don't recommend you do any of this what I'm doing in the picture <laughs> or in the video. Um, I use these like little sticky um dots that a lot of people use for like decorating or hanging posters and stuff that are you know temporary and this uh, this ultimately was a huge fail however using wallpaper was not a huge fail and you can take the wallpaper and again so you can see it's a fail you you know you can see the strips of it it's not laying flat so I decided very quickly that I needed to tape the board together and I did not use like duct tape. I recommend you use duct tape or some kind of really strong tape, not like the tape that I'm using. Okay, it's this wasn't this was a bad idea. So my wallpaper and yours, if you have wallpaper as well, will probably like have a design on it that you're trying to line up. And so that proved to be a little tricky as well because I can't really see it as I'm taping the back, but. I just kind of made like a big sheet out of it, you know, by taping the pieces together. Now, I did look on Amazon to see if they had anything kind of along the lines of what I was going for in a photography like backdrop. And there actually are some pretty good ones on Amazon um, that I think would be totally fine. I was just really looking for something really specific. Um, I want to sort of create this like brand and this this look and ultimately I I still need to get there you know but this is definitely a step in the right direction um and you know it, this wallpaper is supposed to look like old cement or um plaster you know and it was like peeling away and stuff that was the design of it and I actually you know I think I paid about $125 for the wallpaper and it was just one roll that I'm doing this with and it's nice wallpaper it really is um and it photographs really nicely too actually better than it looks in video I, I think it photographs nicely you might have seen it in the beginning of this video but you can see it proves to be a little bit of a hassle trying to 
move this thing around and I'm wrinkling it up and it was a frustrating day. I would have much rather been painting furniture. But I did manage to kind of get this thing up. And again, I'm just using painter's tape, but I do not recommend that. You know, go ahead and use like real like duct tape or something serious, something a little bit more heavy duty. And you can also just apply the wallpaper if you are committal. I was just being so non-committal because I had no idea how this was going to turn out. And so I just would not actually apply the wallpaper. I was worried being out in the garage if the wallpaper, like the moisture levels in the garage, like change a lot. So I felt like, I don't know, I was just very non-committal and still am. Um, even though I kind of got this done and to a point where I took some pictures and I was feeling pretty good about it. I'm still really on the fence as far as like what to do next. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I think given that I am barely hung this thing up and it's so noncommittal, um, that this looks pretty good. I think if I, when, if and when I go back and actually like apply the wallpaper, I think I'm going to like actually stick it to the foam board. I think it'll look a lot better. Um, but for photos, this actually photographed pretty well. I don't know. You guys let me know. Did it did it look good? Am I a crazy person? <laughs> does, it, does it photograph well? Speaking of photographs, I like to use threes. You see I have three little topiaries there. That's a common way for me to stage furniture. I will use a lot of times just like some florals. Those are dried and faux florals that I have there. And I could actually um, do a video on arranging those little faux florals as well. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. Um, one thing that really helps is just keeping things neutral because you may love um, Scandinavian decor, but the person buying your piece loves, you know, a Grand Millennial or they love Farmhouse. And so it really helps to keep things nice and neutral if you want to sell them quickly. These little pompous grass in the background are super trendy right now. And so I've been having fun using them. They are faux and I got them off Amazon so they don't shed, which is awesome. But yeah, I think this project turned out pretty good given that I did it in kind of a temporary way. Thanks so much for following along and learning with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.